What's going on guys? It's your boy Christian here back at you for a brand new sneaker review. Now if you guys don't know yet, this week on Sneaker Talk is Sneaker Review Week and we are going to try and review two or more sneakers every single day this week. You guys see the stuff in the background? All these sneakers on my bed are sneakers I plan to review within this week and next week and dude, there are so many sneakers. So if you guys wanna learn about a bunch of different sneakers from different brands, make sure you subscribe, hit that red button down below. Now you guys here are for this particular sneaker today, the Nike Vapor Max Plus. Now these things are, look at this, look at these man. These are freaking vibrant and wild and they're definitely out there, out there, <laughs> out there. Now, I've actually had these sneakers for a few months now. I bought these earlier in the year, I think around January or February. I even shot the B-roll for today's video back then and I'm now getting to the review now, so that's why there's gonna be snow in the B-roll. Um, but yeah, these sneakers are crazy. I actually went out and bought these as soon as I could. I hunted these down. I went to locations, like multiple locations downtown, trying to buy these sneakers, and when I did, I was so excited. But now, this particular colorway is sold out, and even at a very high retail price of $255 or $190 to $200 US, these sneakers, I still think, might be worth considering buying. Now, at a retail price of $255 Canadian or $190 US dollars, we're talking about like $200 US dollars for a pair of these Nike running shoes. Are they worth it? Are they worth it? We're talking about the same price point as Retro Air Jordans in stores right now, which is crazy. So now, let me uh, let me put the camera down and explain to you guys some stuff about this sneaker and uh, let you guys know my thoughts about it. Also, one little thing before we get into the review, I'm giving away a pair of Adidas NMD R2s, this like camouflage print. Where did it go? Here it is. We're giving away this pair right here. It's a camouflage colorway of the NMD R2. It even has camouflage laces. This is a Champs exclusive. I think it might be limited size 10 and a half so check out my recent Yeezy mystery box unboxing Adidas sent me some Yeezys with a uh, like Adidas originals mystery box so make sure you guys check out that video I'll leave a link down below with that said we have the Nike Vapor Max Plus and holy cow these sneakers are a statement piece jeez now this sneaker caught my eyes when I first saw images of them on the sneaker blogs like Sneaker News and Kicks on Fire, and I knew, I just knew I wanted to buy these sneakers. The, the price, the price wasn't something I was too concerned about because I did have some gift card credit available still at Full Lockers and Champs, so I used that towards these sneakers. But at a full retail price of like $255, I can understand why you might not want to buy these sneakers considering there's a lot of great sneakers out there for less than that. You can even get the Air Max Plus, the, the sneaker that this was based off of essentially at like Nike outlets for 100 to $120, sometimes even less if there's like that extra 30% off at the outlets. So yeah, if you like these sneakers, you're really going to have to pay a pretty high penny because these are not a sneaker that's gonna be available at Nike outlets anytime soon, I wanna say. In fact, this particular colorway, the Sunset colorway, is sold out in most locations. Now, if you're not a fan of this colorway or you know you just missed out on it and you don't wanna pay resale because this is a sneaker that really doesn't have or see resale value, you, there are five other colorways available. They released a purple colorway, a gray, a blue, a black, and a white. Now the closest to this kind of aesthetic you can get would have to be the blue colorway, and I will leave a link to cop those in the description down below to the Nike or Foot Locker websites, whatever will have them in stock. Now if you don't know about the Nike Vapor Max Plus, this is actually a Fusion model. Nike has been pumping out a few Fusion models, they did this also also with the Nike Air Max 97. And so these right here are a fusion of the Nike Air Max Plus, which was originally released in 1998, and they're a fusion of the Nike Vapor Max, which released, I think, a year or, or two years ago. So it's pretty cool how they're combining that old school aesthetic with the upper of the shoe right here, which is the Nike Air Max Plus's upper, and they have the Vapor Max's outsole. Now, how does this how does this feel on feet? The outsole of the Vapor Max. I gotta say it's probably one of the most comfortable outsoles and just one of the most kind of comfortable technology I've worn. And at a retail price of, you know, 190 US dollars, you best expect some high quality comfort 
and these do not disappoint. These are easily the most comfortable pair of Nike sneakers I've ever owned, and it's up there in like terms of comfort with the rest of my collection. A lot of you guys associate the Ultra Boost line to being one of the most comfortable sneaker styles and lines out there. And I gotta say, if you were looking for something that's comparable to the Ultra Boost, but you want something from Nike, the Vapor Max Plus is is up there. Like I honestly, I can't decide which one's more comfortable, the Ultra Boost or the Vapor Max Plus. So if you can, I highly recommend you guys try these on in store. Now the size of this sneaker, just by looking at it, you think it would be a heavier kind of sneaker and it's actually quite light and that's because the outsole it uses is like all air unit outsole. Picking them up, you're like, oh wow, I was expecting these to be at least like twice the weight, but it's not that heavy after all. And going back to the comfort, going back to the comfort, I gotta say that these really give you a, a bouncy feel on your feet. Like I really like the way this air unit feels. You just like to push your foot sometimes on the floor just to bounce off uh, the floor with this the outsole because it's just super super comfortable on top of that the material that they use for the upper of the shoe and the inner like layer of the shoe the inner parts is like this neoprene really soft material sort of like a scuba diver kind of material it hugs your foot really well and it is super super soft so when i say this is the most comfortable nike sneaker i've ever owned i'm not exaggerating it please please do yourself a favor and try these on in store with that being said let me show you guys some of the details on this sneaker which make it really unique starting off with the upper the upper of this shoe is wild it has this red to orange maybe not so red but it has an orange to yellow sunset gradient on the shoe now there's not too many shoes out there that have this sort of aesthetic or can pull off this look this is a very unique look and you really only see this on the actual Nike Air Max Plus the sneaker that is you know fused into the shoe so you either get the Air Max Plus or you get the VaporMax Plus. On the Nike website, it describes the shoe as having a compression molded upper, which I can translate that to say that it just hugs your foot in all the right places. Now, besides the orange to yellow gradient on the shoe, there's also some small hits of 3M throughout. So if you guys look down, like top down of the shoe, you guys can see these like gray little lines and all of those are these 3M material reflective accents. So at nighttime, or if you take a photo with your phone with like flash, it really, really does pop it's a nice little added touch they didn't have to do that but they did and then you also have these like black wavy lines on the upper of the shoe to contrast the orange and yellow so it really makes it pop and stand out and gives it sort of like a tiger-esque kind of vibe looking like a animal so it's, it's pretty pretty ferocious sort of a sort of an exciting look I want to say on top of that the tongue the tongue has some air vapor max plus branding with the swoosh so you guys can see right here there's also some extra padding along the inside area of the ankle to really have your foot locked in and secure one thing I find with quite a few Nike running shoe models is that they fit super duper snug like almost an uncomfortable kind of snug but these fit you just right for sizing I would recommend going your true size. Don't go half a size up, don't go half a size down. If you have a wide foot, I feel like you'll even be able to go true to size on these. Um, you might not have to size up just because the material that they use is very forgiving and stretchy, at least on the inside portions of the shoe. Taking a look at the back of the sneaker, you get this VM, the Vapor Max branding in this cool little hexagon kind of shape. Sort of reminds me of like the materials or the, the chemicals on the chart in science class. The, the chemical charts, I don't know, you guys know what I mean. And then you also have the black pull tab on the back. Now looking at the outsole, the outsole they take from the Vapor Max model and the outsole is super duper comfortable and I want to say durable as well it's like this really thick thick air unit I've never once had a like worry that the unit was gonna pop or anything like that I've even like poked my keys into it and they don't pop my understanding though is if they do pop for whatever reason you might be able to return them back to Nike through Nike's customer service on their website and get a new pair sent to you I've heard that not even just for the Vapor Max model but just other Air Max models in the past if the air unit pops your sneaker does have like a one year warranty I believe so hit up Nike if your air units do pop now one other thing you might notice about the outsole is that there's these 
extra little like grip pieces right here. They're like little dots and uh, that just gives the shoe a bit more traction and it also gives it some extra added durability as well in case you were to step on something that was to be a little bit sharp. So overall, I gotta say, I would recommend the Air Vapor Max Plus if you can fork over the hefty retail price of 190 US dollars or 255 Canadian. You can try finding them on sale, um, but if you can't and you still are a fan of the general look of the shoe, I would recommend you check out the Air Max Plus, the Air Max Plus from 1998. They have new colorways coming out every few weeks or months in 2018. You might be able to find them at the Nike outlet. Uh, so yeah, if you wanna get this kind of look but don't wanna pay that high retail price, or if maybe you're not a fan of the Vapor Max outsole, you can try those out because those are still a very comfortable sneaker and something I would recommend. And you know, you could sleep a little easier knowing you saved yourself like $100 by buying the previous version and not the Fusion. Regardless though, this is one of my favorite Nike sneakers of all time. And uh, I'm very happy I was able to snag these because these are just harder to find now at Full Lockers and Champs. With that being said, I will throw on some Stone Island cargo pants and some quality denim. You can use my code ST20 on Quality's website to get 20% off. I wanna show you guys what these look like on feet. So yeah, I'll throw these on feet. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please do me a huge favor and smash that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And also, if you're into gaming, I am, I'm streaming. I'm streaming on Twitch. Follow your boy on Twitch. It's Sneaker Talks EA over on Twitch, Overwatch, Fortnite. I'll be playing with you guys, giving away a bunch of gaming stuff and sneakers over on Twitch. And uh, yeah, Sneaker Review Week on Sneaker Talk is underway. More sneaker reviews coming soon. And On Feet's coming up next. I'll catch you guys in the next review.